In the last video, I covered part A for this question, which was describing this field system where we have three fields and we described it in the form AX equals B. So in this video, I'm going to cover part two, part B, which is solve for X. So we're trying to solve what exactly this is, you know, X is the yield per hectare in tons. I should write in tons. Now we have to solve for that. So we, we know from our last part of the video that A equals, well, we had our system of linear equations and we knew what B was. So let's find X. So we can find X just by simply solving this linear system of equations. So we'll just copy and paste this. And so by solving for this, we can actually solve for what our yield in hectare in tons is. So we had our output, but we just ignored that when we were dealing with the first question. We just took that, we kind of just truncated it, and that was our A. So by solving this, we just solve using Gaussian elimination. So here, to make this much easier to solve, I think the easiest thing to do is like we have our first row, second row, third row, and if we just multiply them by a scalar, because we're dealing with one third, one half, so let's just make them all into one. So we're going to times this by three. We're going to times this by two. And because we want this to be one as well, we're just going to times this by two. So that gives us, we end up with one, 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 and 36. We still have zero. 1, 1, and 20, and 1, 1, 0, and 32. So from this we can use, we can put this, you know, we're trying to get this in the augmented matrix form. So when reduce row echelon. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, because we have column 1, 2, 3, and just by looking at this we can decide that, well, if we take 1 minus 2, and we'll take 3 minus 2. No, no, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just do the first row for now. So 1 minus 2. So that's going to give us, we have 1 still, and then we're taking 1 minus 1, 0, 0, and now we're doing 20 or 36 minus 20, which is just going to give us 16. And we just have everything else the same. And so we can actually just solve this just by, you know, we know right now that, that x1, this is x1, so x1 equals 16. So x1 equals 16. And we know that x1 plus x2 equals 32. So we know x1 plus x2 equals 32. So what that means is that just by plugging in, you know, 16 for x1, that means we have 16 plus x2 equals 32. So that just means x2 equals 32 minus 16, which just equals 16. Oops, 16. So now we know that x1 equals 16, and we know that x2 equals 16. So from this, in this system of equations, we know that we have x2 plus x3 equals 20. And since x2 equals 16, that means we have 16 plus x3 equals 20, which means that x3 equals 4. So plugging this in, we now know what our a was. We knew what our b was. And now we know what our x is. So we'll just plug in our values for x. So we had 16, 16, and 4. And so this is how we've taken, or we've taken, whoops. So we've taken our fields. We've, you know, we solved it. We just put it into the system of linear equations. We found our a. We knew what our b was because that was our output. And now we can solve for our input simply by solving the system of linear equations.